So last video we looked at the physics engine. We want to take this a step further. So let's say that this platform no longer existed. Now our player has no way to get up to this ledge because our player can't jump that high. So we want to give our player another way to get up to that ledge without just increasing the jump height because that's a bit boring. So we're going to create a brand new sprite and we're going to call this box. And this can be a movable box that the player can push around and jump on top of. I'm going to add this in. I'm going to fill it in. And remember, any physics objects you create will follow the bounding box you create for it. So mine's a square, so that's going to work. If your object's a bit of a weird shape, then you can create some more unique bounding shapes. And the physics engine will follow that. I'll stick with my square, just for this example. So our square can go in there. We can make it a more sensible height. And we can put it in there. So we need to add some behaviors to our square. So the first one that we need is we need solid. Now, even though we're moving this box around, we still need the solid behavior to make sure that our player does not fall through it. Now, normally for solid objects, we've made objects that don't move. And for this one, this kind of breaks the rule slightly because it is going to move, but the player is not going to be able to go through it. And that's the most important part. So we're going to add that. We're also going to add one more behavior, and that's our physics behavior. Just come down, add physics, and that's now added. So we can now run it. The problem is now that our player has just got this box they can't get past. So we need to change some properties. Just a reminder from the last video as well is that your background tiles also need to have the physics properties on them and they need to be set to immovable. So if you've not done that and your box is falling through, that's why. So just make sure they've got the physics behavior as well. If you're really not sure, go back to the previous video. So now we need to go to our player, and our player also needs to have this behavior. So we need to go down, and we need to give them the physics behavior. So we'll start to learn that anything with the physics behavior is anything that's going to interact or be part of the physics engine. So we can scroll down. And there's some stuff that we might need to change with our player. So one of the main ones is prevent rotation. But first I want to show you what happens if you do immovable. Now if we do immovable, you can see that we can move this box. It's very, very slow. So we want to make sure this is ticked off. The other one we might want to tick on though is prevent rotation. So if I show you what happens if we don't have that on there, you'll see that our player now has physics to it and our player can rotate and we can get some weird stuff happen so just be careful of that if you don't want that element in your game obviously if you want your character to be able to rotate and be a bit silly then keep that in so let's turn that off and we also want to give our character a bit more weight so he's able to push stuff around a bit more by just changing his density now if we run it once more you can see that we can push this box across to its correct position. We can jump on top of it. We can get over to the rest of our level. So that's another thing that we can use to make our levels a little bit more exciting. Again, it does not have to be a square. And just want to show you one more thing is that these boxes do sort of interact with ledges as well. So I might need to just change some values of my friction, but we'll leave them on for now. And if we push this off the edge, you see it falls off the edge as well. So that's another thing you can add to your level as well.